Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video that will show you how to burn a disk image on a DVD. So basically this is something that you might want to do sometimes depending on what you actually want to do. Of course you can burn images on a DVD for example a Windows image because you can boot from it and then install Windows. You can, of course, uh, use this procedure of any image that you have that you would like to burn. You know, long gone are the days when you needed special software to actually burn an image on a DVD. Today, Windows 10, it has everything needed to burn an image. How do you do this? It's very simple. Insert, first of all, the empty DVD-R that you want to use. So it's got to be an empty disk and put it in your DVD drive. After a few minutes you might, or a few seconds, you might actually have a little message that says, what do you want to do with that DVD-ROM or BD-ROM or whatever? Ignore the message. Go to where the image is. So if it's a Windows image, you downloaded the image and of course it's somewhere in your hard drive or whatever other image uh, that you want to burn it could be a Linux distro for example that you want to burn on a DVD it could be any other types of images so my image is in my uh, d documents folder so I'll go into documents and here I've got an image so it says here disk image and it's Windows 10 May 2019 update right click on it and you'll see that in the choice you have burn disk image click on this now it's going to ask you what drive you want to use if you have more than one you'll have to choose a proper one then you have the burn button two things you can do um, verify disk after burning that's the safest because it means it's going to burn on the DVD and it's going to verify if it's okay at the end and this it's kind of a fail-safe. If all of that goes through, it means it's okay. It worked fine. You can, of course, remove or make sure you don't, you know, not verify the disk. What does it change? Well, it just means that it's a lot faster because that verification of your burned image takes more time. So if you need to have it as soon as possible, don't put a little check mark here. But it also means there could technically be something going wrong and you won't know that your image is actually broken on the disk. If that burn button isn't bluish like you see here or it's kind of grayed out, either the DVD you've entered is no good or something's wrong with your DVD drive because that should be um, you know, dark. The, the burn should actually be written in black with kind of a bluish tint to the button. Simply click burn and let it do what it needs to do. It will actually burn the image onto your DVD. Uh, make sure if you have a laptop, try not moving around the laptop too much. One of the biggest problems that I've seen with laptops is that the vibrations of you moving your laptop around while it's actually burning an image can sometimes cause errors. Um, one other uh, tip that I would have is don't do anything else while it's doing that because there could be if you're you know kind of doing something that's kind of intense or a little heavy on the uh, hard drive use and so on what happens is that it could actually create a lack of uh, bits that would actually go on the DVD and create some kind of burn error and it's gonna crash and stop and if the image stops right smack in the middle you've just actually that disk is no good anymore you just need to actually put it in the garbage uh, so Leave it alone and don't do anything else while that is happening to um, up. Make sure that, you know, the chances of that working and uh, the working right when you're burning uh, is, of course, okay. So that's as simple as this, Windows Disk Image Burner. And you can actually burn any type of images as long as it's a disk image, an ISO file. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.